Hey yeah. guys, so today we're going to be breaking down the math paper. Uh, so, let's get into the video. So, with math paper, it's a little bit different to English and Irish in the fact that certain topics come up on certain papers rather than you know a certain question coming up so i found a list of what questions come up on what paper so i'll read them out to you and also i'll put them up on the screen as well because obviously you'll be able to memorize them all off so for paper one your algebra instances and logs complex numbers patterns financial maths functions differential calculus integration and proof by induction for paper two your coordinate geometry at the of the line Coordinate geometry of the circle, trigonometry, geometry, probability, um, and statistics. So I think a big one with math is uh, people really struggle with. Um, the way I personally break it down is I go through the topic. Like I don't use the book per se. I use the teacher's book that he's, he's made on his one of Mr. Kennedy. Um, like his book is fantastic. He's a brilliant teacher also. And I think that, true that, I just use this book to study. It's got all the notes, got loads of questions, got the solutions as well. So if I'm struck and go through, don't understand the solutions, I can go ask them, which is perfect. I think with math, it's just about practice. As in, you start seeing patterns, as in you learn a like, way to do a question. And then you just need to keep making sure you're going back to the basics. Even when the questions get harder, you need to make sure you keep using your basics right. It might look really hard, but again, just get your basics right and you should be fine. It's just about doing as many questions as you can because you'll see patterns and you'll see a certain question come up and you'll be able to do it. And then if you, you, you look at the solution, you'll be able to go do it. And then you see another question come up like that, you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember doing that. And nine times out of 10, you'll actually be able to do that then. So it's all really about practice for math, or that's uh, so I think so anyway. Um, again, like I said in my first video, I meant to say it again. I'm not a freshman lady, this is just my opinion and Maths and apply, uh, maths will be one of my favorite subjects, so I'm doing a uh, high level on it. So I also got a question sent in. So if you do want any ask any questions on these subjects, you can send them in through Twitter uh, at Jordan Dara at Dara underscore Jordan, or you can send them on Snapchat uh, at Dara with me. They'll all be linked below, um, and do go follow me on them. Anyway, the question was, uh, how do I study maths? Uh, do I use a Harvard to do questions? Um, basically how to revise. So like I said, just go through, do as many questions as you can. Timing wise, you also, you also ask about timing. Timing wise, I don't really worry about time when I'm practicing the study because it's better to be able to get it through the first time and we practice you a bit faster. I wouldn't be worried about the first time you do the question, how quick you're able to do it. So I'd be more focused on trying to get it right rather than trying to rush through it and maybe making mistakes in the book that practice time time will come with practice and uh very similar to accounting. And yeah, like just go through, do questions, read the notes if you have to, but I think for maths you shouldn't spend your whole time just looking, reading through the book, do questions. Um so yeah. This is my opinion on how you should stu study maths. Uh, next week it'll be business. Um, yeah, and I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm really working hard here to keep posting twice a week during Leave Insert. So if you are, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you on Monday. Good night, relive.